Hi, my name is Ransom Stevens. This is Professor Buckley. And we are here today to answer the question, what is the Higgs boson? Now, before we get started, I just want to try to agree that we should not call the Higgs boson the God particle. That was a term coined by Leon Lederman, who was a Nobel physicist, as a title for his book, The God Particle. It's pure sensationalism. It's really an unacceptable waste of your energy. But it kind of works for selling books. Seriously, though. I'm going to give you a slightly different take on the Higgs, an insight that I doubt you'll see much of in the media. It goes like this. You know that the speed of light is special. It's the speed limit of the universe. Well, it turns out that it's not that light is special, it's that the speed it goes is special. The speed of light is a property of the universe, sort of like the way the number pi is a property of geometry. In fact, every massless object, like light, has to go the speed of, speed of light. It's like they're stationary in time, but zipping through the universe. And when you slow them down, they acquire mass. So something that's massless has to go the speed of light. Something that has mass necessarily can't go the speed of light. Now, the standard model of particle physics is a description of everything we know about how the universe works, and it's got some pretty big holes. One of them is that the standard model would be perfectly content if all particles, electrons, protons, neutrons, as well as light particles, had no mass. Now, we know this isn't true. Professor Buckley has mass. I have mass, maybe 15 pounds more mass than I really need. So the question is, how do particles get mass? Well, something reaches out and grabs them, preventing them from going the speed of light. The instant they slow down, they have mass. Get it? If something's massless, it has to go the speed of light. If you slow it down, it acquires mass. This is what the Higgs particle does. Now remember, the mass is a measure of the inertia of an object. The heavier it is, the harder it is to turn or accelerate that object. The Higgs describes a field of particles, not unlike the gravitational field that holds us down to the ground. The Higgs field saturates the universe and constantly interacts with particles in a way that slows them down, imposing inertia on them. Except, of course, massless particles, which the Higgs doesn't interact with at all. The heavier a particle is, the stronger the binding it experiences with the Higgs. Thank you very much. My name is Ransom Stevens for The Sleeping Professor Buckley.